So last week I showed you how to do normal one colour brioche. This week I'd like to show you the cast off method that I use for brioche. I use for my cast on, this is my cast on here, that is the backward loop method. Really, really, really stretchy and loose. The cast off method I like to use for standard brioche is the Elizabeth Zimmerman sewn bind off or sewn cast off. And this it's really stretchy. It's brilliant for brioche. It's also good for on the cuff of socks if you have started from the toe and worked upwards. It's really, really, really stretchy cast off method. Here is my piece of knitting. I've just done a little swatch of brioche. Now to work the Elizabeth Zimmerman sewn bind off, you're going to need, you cut your end off I'm going to do it in a contrast colour just so you can see the sewn bind off. But you need to cut a piece three to four times longer than your row to be cast off. So I will cut a piece in my contrast. I'll just snip this one off. And thread a needle. What I will just do for now is just tie on my contrast colour. I can worry about sewing in ends after. So to work the sewn bind off or cast off method, when we're doing it on brioche, where we have these brioche knit stitches, so you've got your knit and your yarn over, th these two loops here count as one stitch. If you're on rib, obviously just one loop would be one stitch. So that's one stitch there, and then that's one stitch there. To begin with, we're going to take our needle and thread it through the first two stitches as if to purl. So through that one, and then the second stitch is our yarn over and the stitch. So that's gone through the two stitches there as if to purl and then bring that needle through snug it up now we're going to go back and put our sewing needle through the first stitch on our needle as if to knit and then knock that stitch off the end and it is just a repeat of that to the end so we go through the two stitches on our needle as if to purl Purl through and first stitch that's on the needle as if to knit and then knock it off as if to purl through the two as if to knit through the first and knock it off almost at the end now So I'm on my last two stitches, so I'm going to through the two stitches, one of these is yarn over here, and then the one stitch on the tip of the needle as if to knit, through the last stitch, and then you can just knock that one off. At this point you can weave your ends in, you can see how stretchy that is. It's almost as stretchy as the whole brioche, not quite. So that's the one side, and that's the other side of the same bind off. Obviously I've done it in the contrast colour, but if that were in your main colour, you'd hardly be able to see it. I hope you have found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments what you might like me to show you next week. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Happy crafting. Bye.